Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome to, well, the Eden Burning scenario, a new scenario uh, for Android 1800, the free update is out today. So if you own Android 1800, you can download it right now for free and play a whole new scenario that is pretty damn hard. I have to tell you that. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so here we are now in eat and burning scenario and yeah, well, we have, as we can see, quite a lot of stuff ahead of us, especially when it comes to story. We play as Isabel Samento and our task is to help the islanders generate electricity in a safer, greener way by building a hydroelectric dam. The challenge is skills by embarking on this colossal construction project while maintaining the island's ecological balance. Explore an ancient land scar scarred by perforian occupation. We do have these objectives here, so complete a dam project completed with island health above 80 percent and by completing the scenario within a time and we do get special rewards for all of that and these rewards are going into your account more or less so they're permanent um and don't forget this is an extremely hard scenario at least uh, according to the developers so we are going to fail um quite often it's a roguelike right but we carry progress over so it is like hades if you want to say right so we are starting we are learning we're failing and we have to restart and go about this again without further ado let's get cracking dear isabel thanks to you the perforians have been driven from our region but their legacy remains the generator they left behind the generator we were forced to build during their loathsome occupation is polluting our land my people depend on the electricity the generator provides but it is killing our island our rivers are choked with filth. The smog-filled air drives the birds from the trees. Even the soil suffers a slow poisoning. But we have a plan, a hydroelectric dam. My people have the knowledge and skill, but we need your leadership to build a new sustainable town for the workers and help us complete the dam. With dearest wishes, Jauska Rodriguez. So that's a nice introduction overall. Let's set the sails. Call of the Tinamu. Tamarins have fled the trees. The capuchin birds grow silent too. I hear only the lowing of the beast. It's belching and snorting and roaring. It sits astride the earth, its steel tendrils spewing out poison. This is where we will build the dam. A brutal solution, I know. One behemoth replacing another. But what choice do we have? My people cannot step back into darkness, nor can we continue to destroy our island. My people are rooted in this land. Our ancestors dwelt here, built mighty cities. What would the ancestors think of us, knowing that we helped the Perforians to do this to our home? Every day, our rivers fill with yet more waste. The trees struggle to bear their fruit. Fewer and fewer fish return to our shores. There is no time to waste, Isabel. With every moment, we edge closer to catastrophe. I pray we have not acted too late. Alrighty, and now here we start Eden Burning, the first playthrough. Um, no idea what's going to happen here now. And let's just have a look around now. So let's just have a quick look around the island here. It's a beautiful yeah. island, really. We made everything really and Please establish a settlement for the we need to get a harbor going first. The settlement, our very first quest here. We have our victory conditions. We have our ecological balance up here. So the game is now totally relying on this. If any of these parameters here drops to zero, the game is over for us, right? Then we lose the scenario. We have the water, we have the soil, and we have the air. And we need to keep all of this in good terms. And all of these are affected negatively by, for example, um, industry that we build on and also ruins that we still have here from the Perforians, right? And there's also base generation or regeneration, as I can see, that is also going to affect it in a positive way like sul tuner is our village or our island we can see there's some ruins over here so it we cannot clear them so easily the it's going to take some time but before we can clear them right and we do need some workforce materials. for that as well and this is for example something that carries over when the game or when we um fail 
So in that case here, they will be then um, removed permanently. Now, the first thing that we need to do on this one here, we do have 75,000 coin. There we have our victory conditions. The first one is attract some 150 Honoleros that we do need. Let's go ahead and get us the first street out there. Every street tile costs, of course, some money. We're going to try and yeah, make a nice, beautiful city in here or island or village, right? With a bigger a bigger main road in the center of it all. Um, and then, of course, we can start. I guess we can start right away with building. This is going to be really interesting how it all affects us. Let's have some blocks here as well. And then we could already go ahead now with our first marketplace right here. Mm, actually, let's place the market a bit... F oh! There is no resettling. Once it's placed, it's placed. All right. So we cannot resettle any buildings that we place already. Get us some basic road layout out there. So I have no idea what's expecting us here, what's awaiting us here. Um, there we go. Before work on the dam can begin, Yaoska needs you to establish a new settlement for the workers. That's basically it. There is also a bigger village up here. I think this might be the resource center. All right. And Isabel Sarmento. Somewhere here. It's a beautiful village there. a venerable Mesoan tradition. Though ours has rapidly become a modern research institute... There's also something over here. Oh, these are also negative buildings then once more. That is something I cannot do. 150 Honoleros. We do need for sure some food then as well. But let's just go ahead and build them. My timber production. I need to be careful there. I probably will need to have a timber production somewhere. Uh -huh. And every forester or lumberjack hut that we built here is, as we can see, also adding trees now. So we can see how many trees are within its area of effect, right? And we can't build too many of them because I think the sawmill is reducing the quality of the, the, uh, uh, the ecological quality there that we have. So let's go ahead, build the warehouse, build the sawmills and build the lumberjack huts. Then we build the marketplace and then I'm going ahead with my first Juanaleros. Oh boy, I hope that wasn't too bad. <laughs> we might just see about that. Once again, we can also have a look at our objectives. So complete the dam project is the highest one. Highland health above 80%. So that's the eco balance that we have. And then also complete the scenario within time. I have no idea what time means at this point. I don't see any timer. There it is. Two hours and 20 minutes. That would be the goal. And as we can see, also the first Honolulu's are now moving in. And my sawmills are also now starting their work. While we still wait for more timber to come in, it's also really interesting what new stuff is awaiting us. Because obviously we are playing in the new world right now. Um, in a new world settlement, right? But we are the center of the map here. Um, but these people here have actually new needs. So the Honoleros, the tier 1 ones, they have water pumps, for example, and tools. They also need fish all of a sudden and work clothes. In fact... These goods here are all new to me for the Honoleros, right? They never needed plantains, they never needed fish. They never needed tools or work clothes. So this is all new here. We already have the water pump as the first service building. And I can already see, because of its low range, we will need to place it rather centrally. Unfortunately, I cannot move the buildings. This is driving me insane right now. I will need to keep this one available here, this spot there. Right, and then we build more houses around it. This hopefully should work out. By now, my sawmills are in full swing, so the work is uh, going strong. And we also get more timber in. Let's just check this one. The water pump is really something they would like sooner than later. So we could have the water pump. It does cost me 100 on the credits, though. And as we can see, we are already negative. This might be another tricky business here, money. Let's continue building more houses on that side. Um, here we can afford it after all. And up here probably too, right? So the water pump, I mean, that this is not an optimal location. Let's have the water pump in here, right? Yeah, we, we destroyed that building, it doesn't matter. And I'm going ahead with a few more blocks then over here. That should work out, and then we have the water pump here in the center. 
I'm not building it right now, though. All right, as we can see, we have reached Honolulu now, and the next uh, need is already pretty steep in this case here. We need to attract Obreros, so the tier 2 ones. And also, the first NPCs are introducing themselves, so Maya, the lead researcher at the Institute. That we have up here. And the Research Institute is another very cool thing, because this is something where the tech that you research here is carried over to your next game when you fail, for example. There you can, you know, start again if you need to. Alright, we do have 14 timber. We can now fulfill the next good. So fish is actually already in at some point, 5 tons of it. But we should be going ahead now here with the next fish. And this is the first building now that is reducing the water quality of our island. We also can see that there is some fish resources here. So I need to... Oh, this is also new. I need to get the fishery within its area. Look at that. Very, very cool. So we can have one here because it's going for this fish fish goal here. Um, 80 fish? I hope, I hope it's more than that. But it seems to be that's the end of it then. Yep, I think we might be running out of fish then. At least it's working now. And as we can see here also, my water quality suffers because of this fishery there. Oh, that's going to be cool. I, I'm already pumped for it. Um, we are on the balance, getting closer to positive. So let's actually build us a few more houses. Over there. And can we check our needs? We can check our needs. So one fishery is not enough. Right? We do need a bit more than that. And I do need a second fishery, unfortunately, over here. Oh, that's expensive. Can I do it like that? Nope, unfortunately I can't. This is also not possible. It's only possible here if I want to get all three of them. Alright. Well, then we let's build it here. I do need a warehouse for that though. Let's have one warehouse over there for the fish. And a bit more timber is coming in right now. And we can also uh, continue expanding... And the island health right now is 90%. That's another very important indicator here that we have. We still need one more fishery. It's insane. I'm still stuck at zero. Um, even though we have two fisheries already. we What we can also do is build a water pump. Perhaps this affects our balance there a bit, right? Let's do this one. First of all, it does cost me money. But look at that. It's going up. Perfect. That is totally right. We are making some money now. We have almost 300 people in Laxultuna. And I think we also got another quest there, right? Up there is a quest. Let's have a look at this really cute village there. And I love that we have so many new assets in this game. Like, so many new buildings. Beautiful. I'm sure there is a way you can help us thrive. Alright, the research team is trying to study the effects of pollution on standing water, but we can't keep making trips out to the Kultun. Can you bring us an up-to-date photograph? And we do get Herbarium two times for that. We trust you. So our first quest with the researcher is we need to make a photo of this area here, Ancient Mizoan Pyramid. And we need to take a photo of that. Uh, let's just have a look. Oh my goodness, the sensitivity is killing me. <laughs> there we can make a photo. You never let me down. I hope not. Herbarium, what can we do with that now? We got a, a currency and there must be something here we can use this on. And boom, we crossed 400. We are actually leveling up here to level 2. Interesting. And we still need to attract the obreros. Next lock, our uh, next good is plantains. That was unlocked now. And the plantains, boy, we have a pretty bad uh, space problem here too. We could have the plantains here. This one here is affecting the soil quality in a negative way. Now let's just see that we can squeeze some of them in here. They are very, very uh, small ones though. Right. Number one. And I think we do need quite a lot of them. Number two. 
there is this important village over there that I would probably like to get as well. We still can't get kind of like sorting out the fish problem. I'm going to have another fishery and I'm trying to squeeze it in here. And I hope that it does reach the warehouse. It does. Perfect. So that's another two fishing grounds that we have. But that's the end of it, right? So I have now all the fishing grounds in my area. And we're barely making any fish out of that. So it's a plus one only for now. We really should hurry up there. Let's go ahead and actually... There is this ruin. How big is that ruin? We can clear it now. Cleanse the island of Praforian remains. This costs me um, 75 workforce and takes 5 minutes of our time. Let's clear it. And as we can see, the clearing has started. Or the cleansing, as I should say it. And with that, we can do this. I actually want to have my um, plantations up here. It just makes more sense. Depending on how many we actually will need. But I don't want to... Block the way to the, the village there. Right, and then we can actually get rid of them here. And we can build them right away. Let's build the first one. It's expensive. And it does further reduce the soil quality. Greatly decreasing at this point. Patience, pollutions. This one here, redu or removing this one though, will make it a bit better there again. And we need to build another one right away. That's a lot of fields. We'll have to make sure to diversify the crops we plant in them. All right, the first plantains at least are being now produced. Stations. Oops, row upon row. And we are now going below the first threshold here for the soil quality. There was a bank just now. I hope it's nothing too bad. My plantations, meanwhile, are working, but only once again, barely working. Holy cow! We are not getting positive there at all. Let's build the last one for now. I seriously don't want to build any more of these. Alrighty, our next production chain. I'm a bit nervous here, to be honest, because... I don't know, it's all pointing down right now. Um, we do need the tools, right? So that is another thing that has been opened up here now. And the tools require an iron mine, the lumberjack hut. But the iron mine does require the brick factory. So we do need to have a clay deposit somewhere. Um, and the problem that I can already see is that there is no clay deposit on my side of the island. Over here is the next one. So we do need to get over there to the other side. Which will cost me a lot of timber, I'm sure of. 20, tem uh, 20 tons of timber and a thousand credits. And we need to do this to get over there to this clay deposit. Now, I can remove this one here, though. There we have more ruins. So let's get rid of that. We do have the Honoleros. Clearing this one will make this one accessible. And this one here still one more minute. While that is working, let's have a look at the other production chain that we have there. And that is the work cloth. That's this one here. That doesn't require any bricks. So we can do this right away. Alpaca farm and the cattle farm. They're producing 30 seconds each and the work cloth 30 seconds as well. I would like to have them here, by the way. Please, so we are going now over no around the ruins there. The I am establishing quickly. What are you talking about? hope I'm not too slow. There is the oil. We do have one oil there at least. And up here I can now have my next production chains working for us. So let's go ahead. Um, alpaca farm. Let's have two of them each right now. So that's the four modules, right? Yep. Make three of that. And then there's the cattle farm. Where should we have the cattle farm? Ah, perfect. While we are planning this one, we can now get rid of the first ruin. Even there you go. And there's actually some loot here. Let's pick up the bricks. Ten tons of bricks. How very nice. We can use that for... Can we use that for our tools? Yes, we could. Barely, though. Alright, let's go ahead with the work clothes uh, manufacturing. So, I'm also going to have this one over here then. By the way, we could have it here. And 
then I'm going to have my warehouse. There is another ruin that's blocking the path. Lots of ruins. I cannot do anything here. Nah, I cannot build. There is the ruin. How much does it cost us? 150 Honoleros. Um, let's get rid of this one. And let's get rid of this one. It doesn't reduce it permanently though, right? Let's get rid of that one only there for now. And let's get tracking. Let's have the warehouse. Let's have the first two alpaca farms. Let's have one alpaca farm and one cattle farm. And one workload production. So that is a pretty big one. Costing us a lot of money. And as we can see, it's further decreasing here now. Our soil quality. This is the major thing there right now. The latest soil samples are beginning to concern me. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> Something very cool that we see over here is the items. So we have lots of items that we can make uh, with resources, right? Animal farms productivity, for example, and their eco quality impact. Um, that is, I guess, getting better, hopefully. Nah, it can't get better there. It's plus 20%. So if we use them, we might still be getting rid of a lot of it. Yeah, we need to be careful with these items, though. And the first workload is coming in. Finally, so that at least is something. Regia, thank you for... Very nice. The next Perforian Ruin is ready for clearing. This is helping with our eco balance there a bit. And we get some timber out of it. Very, very nice. And now we can open up this clay pit here. For our brick production. That is one clay pit. And it's still the same ratio. So two brick factories that we can uh, have working here i'm not building them right away though how much workload do we produce all right we do meet the demand at least but that's it at least our income is looking good i'm a bit worried there about my soil quality though which is still decreasing very interesting detail that is happening right now the soil quality is going down and the color of the island gets rather grayish so that is not in effect an illusion that I just have. It's actually happening. The next need we can also fulfill, that's the chapel. I will need to remove some of these people there once more in the center here. But we are going to rebuild them. And then I can have a chapel right here in the, the town center. And of course, I mean, we're close to defeat, but I'm, I'm still trying to build something here, right? We're still trying to achieve it. Oh god, greatly decreasing. We are running out. Plantain plantations are absolutely destroying it right now. And the ruins are also destroying it. We need to clear more ruins. Let's clear this one. And let's clear... This is the air quality impact. This is water. Is there any soil? There is soil. Let's remove this one here too. It doesn't need to have a road connection. Very good. Air quality, soil quality reduction. So these are the ruins of the Perforians that lived here once. And now it's just polluting the island. Alright, soil is so low that we do get an extra quest for that. <laughs> Make a decision. Our over-exploitation of the soil has left it lacking many of the nutrients our crops need to grow. Yields are decreasing at an alarming rate. We'll use workers to bring animal manure to the fields. We do need more workforce, but the crop farms also produce more. We'll use rotten fruits as fertilizers, or we'll just have to plant more. Let's go with this one there. More workforce needed is fine because we do have the workforce. Alright. And the animal farms are producing more now, it seems. We're still running out of basically everything that we have. Alright, the negative effect partly is together with here the monoculture effect because these farms are cl too closely together. Let's get rid of this one there. We should be seeing a positive trend then here, hopefully. And we can now build the plantation on the other side of the island. Right, so there is no monoculture effect on this one now. Alright. But this seems to be still too close here, unfortunately. Let's get rid of the next one. 
and build this one here where we're going to have our brick factories all right there is no negative effect on that another negative effect is right now happening the leaking perforian ruins are uh, three of them they're greatly decreasing the water quality that we have right now so that's a perforian jail that we have there leaking perforian ruin this has priority let's clear it with the workforce that we have and there is another one and we can also clear this one we are now down on the workers though we have slowed the decreasing soil quality now at least that is something it's at minus five per minute so if we clear one more ruin we should be positive here um at least that is something water is now really dripping down there though another problem and yeah five more minutes for these ruins here and i don't have the workforce for anything else really The cool thing is monoculture does not affect the animal farm, so we can have them close together, it seems. There's no negative effect here happening right now for this alpaca farm there, for example. Another cattle farm. That would bring us to another 24 honoleros that we need. That's over here. And then we can build another workload manufacturer over there, right? So that's... All we need right now because my workload is still going down and we need that for our honoleros. Uh, let's build us a few more houses there. Two more at least. The next ruin has been cleared. Perfect. This is helping there a bit and we do get some bricks out of that. Actually, we don't need to have a brick production for now because we're getting in a lot of that ourselves for the next production that we have over there, which is then the tools, so the iron mine. And a lumberjack hut, right, that we would have here. By the way, the lumberjack hut is foresting trees. Perhaps this is affecting our eco balance in a positive way. Yeah, difficult. And then we have the tools factory. Let's have this one close to the iron mine. And this is producing every 30 seconds. Well, these are producing every 15 seconds. So I can have two of these tool factories then here close to that mine looking at the water quality there's also something very interesting of course we're losing now uh, water quality here because of that by the way soil is positive at least that is something but the water is going down hard right now um there is the perforian ruins so we can get rid of that and there's the fish shoals here that boost our water quality now that's of course these thingies outside here, right? If this reaches zero, then we lose another water quality. I need to be very careful how many of them I want to deplete, right? So for now, we can deplete them still, but I need to be careful of not overdoing it. The 